life of the average Abigail. I'm Lost Mizzle from Welcome to my channel. Today is now April 26. Yes, another new day. April 26. The sky is nice today. Nice fluffy clouds. Cool fluffy clouds. April 26. Another day just doing nothing. I'm going crazy, guys. As you can see, I'm going crazy. Nice new day, I guess. I don't know if the camera's really straight enough for you guys, but, you know, I'm, I'm probably in Zoom, but not if you guys can actually see me, so. You can see, you know, not really annoyed or, you know, ranting Raymond. Just thought I'd do it, you know. A little bit different in front because you know I ended off ranting and raving to well not really ranting and raving just pissed off to just you know another new day. Well anyway I guess it's April 26 and you know it's uh 10:25. It's a nice bright day out there you know a little, little bit of fluffy clouds out there just you know cotton leaf clouds blue skies not really anything. Really different from yesterday. It didn't rain at all yesterday. It was, you know, warm weather. Uh, today, you look, you know, obviously, it's going to be warm weather. It's not raining, which is good. <sighs> so, I don't know. Do a recap of yesterday. After my Ranch and Raven uh, video, you know, just mostly, you know, pissed off video about certain things. Um, I got my butt down to the library by noon. And I think about 1.30, about 1.32 is when I got the video out there for you guys. You can watch it. You know, you can across this one. You haven't watched the other one. Watch the other one. The other one's pretty fun. You know, I think you guys might like the other one. And then there was one before that. And then the one before that, I don't know. Anyway, watch the next three or four before this one. You guys will see what's going on. <clears throat> so... As you can see, I'm in a room with four walls again, the ceiling and floor and no little cousin yet. You know, it's Tuesday and nothing really going on. Just another normal day. I think it's Tuesday. What the hell? Anyway. Yeah, it's Tuesday. No calls in Texas. Not really even getting anything from the neighbor boy either. Maybe he lost his phone, maybe his phone was damaged. Well, I got the one cousin that calls me and texts me still, even though I miss his birthday. Still calls and texts me. Usually when I'm in, uh, in uh, you know, my city, he's calling me about 10, 12 times a day. I talk about whatever. I don't mind it. You know, sometimes, you know, in the middle of doing a video log, he's going to be calling or texting, and he's like, oh, you're going to have to wait till I mock my video log is done. And I, I usually get that done around uh, uh, 9 or 10, and then, you know, by noon. Well, he's an early riser because he's got a baby. Um, what was I saying about that now? And then, you know, lately, you know, He's been calling me about maybe six to eight times. And now that I'm over here in, the, you know, in this city, he's like called me maybe three or four times a day. And some days, not even all. So, I don't know. I don't know, the recap of, I must have recap of yes, not yesterday, but the day before. Because yesterday was rent and raining. So that one day, um... My cousin decided to do some fish sticks and fries. Uh, and these are bigger fish sticks. I don't know if fish and chips, I guess you call it. It's not really fish sticks. It's the big thing of fresh bread of fish. Decided to do that with fries. Hopefully I'm uh, still recording for you guys. I don't know. I can't really see reflection off to anything. I can see a tad, but not really. So, my cousin did that. Um, you know, that was for supper time anyway. For around lunchtime, not really anything. I had an orange and apple, um, some kind of bretzel stuff. I had that and another uh, green tea with pomegranate. 
last supper time is when I had um, the fish, chicken, fries with um, what's that of juice? I think it's peach juice. I think peach or peach mango or something like that. Juice. Is, it's powder stuff anyway. So there's a jug of that stuff. I was drinking that for supper time. That that other night, not last night, but the other night. And you know, I'm just not really, you know, just sitting around watching TV and you know, talking to my cousin and then, you know. Um, well, after the, after supper and video log was done, I played some cards with the uh, neighbor lady and, you know, it's normal, I guess. Win some, lose some, whatever, you know, a bunch of times. And until supper time, she left for supper, for her su go get her supper, you know. Uh, played a little bit after the supper and, you know, watched a little bit of video logs, or not video logs, um, um, TV shows, old TV shows on YouTube. Um, and then, you know, to then wake up in the morning, that's not really going on, that's, you know, it's a whatever day. And then, you know, um... Yeah, it's, I was, you know, ranting and raving yesterday. So, after the video logging, you know, I'm just, you know, walking fast around town, you know, doing, going this one that way. And I think I'll let's sit in the park for a change. There's a whole bunch of kids, you know, before, you know, their day, new day of school, I guess. Wait, no. No, that was before. That wasn't yesterday, was before I went to the park. It was, you know, it was, looked like it was going to rain. Yesterday, 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 no, yesterday was pretty clear. She went to the park, but just walking around and then, you know, walking, I was walking around fast anyway, getting one point to another and didn't really, I didn't really care, you know. Anything could be happening around me, but, you know, my, my perception was just a blur, just getting my crap done and get out of there. And that's you no know, a bunch of rants and raving. Um, I had some lunch before going to um, the library. Uh, I don't know. Not really anything much, you know, the chow one. I you know we got to get some, you know, food bank stuff. I didn't have this uh, chef of I don't know what it's, you know, you know what chef Bordy is. Uh, I think it was some kind of noodle stuff, and anyway, it wasn't the. I don't even. I didn't even really didn't even have to say that name. But anyway, I had a can of that. You know, some you know, bread and juice. You know, that was lunchtime. But for supper, since I know I have a crap at lunch, the neighbor lady did a roasted chicken outside on her balcony. And sometimes things she didn't want. She wouldn't put it stop raining and do the chicken and. She was doing a bunch of spices and making hot, and it was delicious. Anyway, we, we didn't, she didn't bring it over whole to here, but because she's she's got a boyfriend, and you know, really cooking for them, so they both didn't eat all of it. So she brought the rest of it. What the hell? Oh, I got a phone call coming in. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna have to wait. <clears throat> so she brought over the rest of the chicken here, and. So we decided to have um, um, chicken and spuds and veggies and stuff. My cousin was already doing some spuds and veggies and he was going to do something to beat out there. But she came over and brought the chicken so we had uh, no veggies and spuds with, the, with the, the chicken. All the chicken was good. Spice up just right, the crispiness and the tenderness inside. It was good chicken. <laughs> so she did a whole chicken, not really a big chicken, but it was only mainly for just me and those two, but you know, me not eating, eating a lot and my cousin not really eating a lot either because you know, he doesn't have his girlfriend, so he's eating less and sometimes I don't, I don't really always see him eat, so I don't know if he's eating. I'm not always you know, out there. Sometimes we're sitting to have breakfast, but I never really see him eat, eat lunch. And sometimes he's not even eating supper, but this time, you know, did have supper. So I don't know, it was, you know, good chicken. You know, she made some chicken, which is which was nice of her. She's seen how, you know, 
depressing this place has gotten in, you know. He's moping around and I'm kind of moping around because I'm going to be home for my cats. You know, my cats are there. Cats are fine. They're taken care of, but I want to make sure the litter's done to make sure they got enough treats, you know, dry food, watered mostly, you know. I know I know. there's a lot of dry food. There's a lot of wet food. There's a lot of treats. But me, I give them accordingly what I, what I like to give them. And I know that they're not going to get all the stuff they, they need to, to get every day. Because my cousin's like that. He doesn't, you know, he'll take care of him. Take care of him the way he wants to take care of him. Because, you know, yeah, they're just cats, you know, who cares? He doesn't really care enough about cats. It's not his cat, so he doesn't really care that much. But a lot of people, I'm probably, I already said this in every video once, but a lot of cat mummies don't care for, for cats. There's a bunch of them don't even care for dogs. Some of them even think cat should be kicked out the door. Dog should be in, in, indoors. You know, small dog, whatever. <coughs> In the reserve, they, you know, uh, some people have cats inside, some people then have the dogs outside. But most of the reserve don't like cats. You know, if they got a cat, they're going to kick it out the door. And they don't care if it gets hit by a car, you know, get attacked by a dog or a wolf or anything. They don't care. You know, just, just get an air cat. You know, let's, let's uh, get rid of the carcass or bury it or, you know, or, or, or get rid of the cat when it's old enough. It's not a cute kitten anymore. And then we'll tell our, our, our kid that it ran away or got stolen or um, whatever, you know. Or get in there a cat and try to look like it's like, oh, cat's fur changed. I heard about all those damn stories. And I didn't even seen it firsthand. Oh, the cat's not a kitten anymore. It's, it's going to be in heat. Let's get rid of it. Let's, oh, let's do some joy riding in the field. Oh, we just ran over to somebody's cat. Oh, well, let's not tell them. Who cares? Just a cat. My cats are even like my kids. Oldest cat gone on 13. Second oldest gone on 12. The other cat's gone on 9. Another cat that died, I think, uh, about two years ago or something. It, you know, it's gone. <coughs> these are the last three cats in their own. And these cats are like kids. They're my kids. <coughs> I want to get out of my town, you know. I'm sick of my town. It's... It's crap, you know. I've been bored in my town. Move someplace else, or maybe move to the reserve. That, that's possible. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I have a bunch of choices, but a lot of people, a lot of people don't like my cats. They don't like any cats. You know, they're saying no. Yeah, you, know, you can't take your care cat. Just throw it out the door. Or let's go give them to the main society. Or just give it to somebody who's not probably not going to take care of it. Even if some of their wisecrack people is like, oh, you know what? You catch a fat? Picture those Chinese people like those cats. People say, no, oh, they cook cats, you know, that's what they do in the restaurant. They, they have like a uh, a cat meal and they grow, grow the cats and like whatever, you know. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm ranting about my cats now. I'm in a video. Just, you know, I'm going to make sure my cat's taken care of. You know, I don't know. I think my, well, my cousin is a better babysitter of my cats than my roommate was. My roommate didn't give a crap about anything. Um, let's see now. I know, I kind of lost my train of thought of things. Um, I don't know. So, um, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. What was I really getting at talking about my cats? Oh! That the fact that I'm here and I should be home, you know, take care of my cats and, you know, be able to watch a lot of videos and have a good atmosphere, get the music done finally. Still gonna try to get the damn music done. I mean, I was gonna, you know, <coughs> by the time I get all the music done, you know, how slow the damn computer is anyway. Get that done. Um, and then you need to do the repairs at that. Because I'm most likely going to be going out of town in May anyway. So then in May, there will be fixings. I don't know. I don't really want my computer to be gone that long, no more than a day or two. Getting all the repairs and, and uh, upgrades and stuff. I want them to be gone for a day or two. I don't want to be gone to the reserve or whatever for a week to ten days and you know, my computer is not home. 
So there'll be a bunch of days, you know, when I go to the reserve and visit my dad. And I won't be coming back here because my oldest cousin won't be here. And then, and then most likely, you know, his ex-girlfriend and, uh, you know, I guess it's his stepdaughter kind of thing. Now, he's been with this woman for seven years and <clears throat> she's gone and done what she's going to do, I guess. And she's made her, her choices and, you know, it doesn't include him. And I don't know. The choices she's making for her daughter is, you know, not really thinking of her daughter. You know, she doesn't care about her feelings. She doesn't care about the stuff that, you know, she needs in her life. You know, I don't, I, I doubt she has that much clothes. You know, she's probably sitting around in dirty clothes. Probably not eating that much. Probably some place where she's scared and want to go home. Wants to see her friends, you know, you know, me, you know, her stepdad. Her mom doesn't care. I'm going to say it straight out. Her mom's drinking and done drugs. Who cares, you know? Probably just using her, her kid just to get money and then let's go drink and do drugs. Oh, my kid's fine, you know, she doesn't really need anything. She doesn't need no new clothes, she doesn't need her toys. She doesn't need her friends, she doesn't need her school. She doesn't need none of those. She doesn't care about her, her daughter's feelings. She doesn't care about, um, you know, and she's only caring about herself. She doesn't care that she owes people money and they need it for certain things, you know. Like the money doesn't come out, just come off trees, you know. Money doesn't come out of her butts. But I don't really say on that. <clears throat> you know, she's just doing things for herself. She doesn't care about anybody else. I keep getting this phone call and I, I, he can wait and talk on video log. Um... So I know, I'm just telling you straight out on the, uh, the camera right now. She's drinking, doing drugs, she's screwing around with another guy. You know, she's going and screwing around with my cousin's best friend. I've been I've been holding off on this, you know, since I came back around. You know, since I came you know, came around and you know, I've been here for a while anyway. I don't know why I was saying like ten days, it's you know, it's been more than 20 days anyway. More than 20 days. <clears throat> I don't know. I did so many, there's been so many days gone by, so many uh, different videos I've been throwing out there, and I just, you know, kind of lost track of you know, the time and the day, and, you know, cousins have been gone a while, a long while. I don't know what's going on. So, anyway, the fact of the matter is that, you know, she's smoking, drinking, doing drugs, and she's doing whatever, she's sleeping with guys, and she doesn't care, you know. Her, her daughter well-being probably. My little cousin will probably see this video a lot before her mom does. Her mom might, you know, maybe one of her friends might, you know. But like I said, let me just say it. Now we wonder why her other kids are gone. I don't know. She, I think she lost three, maybe four kids. It's going to turn out that she's going to lose my little cousin, now her youngest daughter, the way she's going. When this when this child's gone and she can't get that child back, what is she going to do? She's going to be crying, whining, poor me, poor me, oh boo-hoo, because you've been thinking of yourself, only yourself. It's like, oh, I do this uh, bunch of stuff, you know, my kids, you know, I'm doing some stuff, cooking and cleaning, I've done this for years, and, you know, oh, my leg, oh, you know, I got to go for surgery, it's like, oh, poor me, it's like, oh, poor you. Never really cared about your kids. I, I see why you've lost your kids. I do, I do see why you lost your kids. And maybe, you know, what has happened is that my little cousin's gone now, you haven't come back because you screwed up. And if, and if my little cousin doesn't have her necessities in her life, like clothing, food, shelter, being safe, being in school, that the authorities have taken another child away. And you, you, you most likely will not get that child back because you didn't get the other ones back. I don't care about your child psychology degree, which is probably fake. 
You know, anybody can get those and put them on a the wall. They can have like 20 to 30 different degrees stone on the wall. That doesn't that mean about anything. You said, oh, yeah, child's college. Like, who cares? You're a bad parent. I see it every time I'm here. And there's certain things, you know, you could do for your daughter or, you know, listen to her more. Hear her feelings. You know, her wishes and stuff. Instead of being, you know, well, not so much mother because it's a grump. But you guys never take it apart. You never got the stuff that she needed. When you're drinking, you don't care about feeding your child. You know, I hear it. You guys get so loud, cops come to the door. You guys fight a, a, a different people. She gets scared. She hides in her room. She's told me this. You know, you probably see this video long, long after, you know, you probably lost her. Your smoking bothers her. her your drinking bothers her. Your music bothers her when she's trying to sleep and she wants to go to school the next morning. And what you got to say is when she goes out, can you turn the music down can't sleep? You just tell her to shut the fuck up and go to bed. What the hell? I know this video is turning into another rant, but I needed to get it out there. I've been holding on to this for days and days and days and days. She's screwed up. She's not back. She owes me money. She owes a bunch of people money. She, I don't think she's coming back. By the time she's coming back, my cousin's probably going to be gone. And then you're going to see this video, well, maybe one day, your your daughter's going to see it before you do, or you want your friends to see it before you do. So, what can you really say on that? Nothing. Because you don't think about yourself. All the things that you've said and done and you know, got your way of things and, you know, don't really think about people's feelings or, you know, about other people on their stuff. As long as you get what you want. You got your dr your drugs, you got your booze, you got your cigarettes, you know, you got your fun, you get your, you, you probably like five different guys you're probably screwing around with. I'm going to say it plain out, it's simple, you know, you're probably screwing around with different people. I can't believe, you know, you, you were my cousin for seven years and you go and screw around with his best friend and then come back and think things will work out. Things aren't working out and then you guys have a fight and you take off again and you're, you're back with my uh, cousin's best friend. I don't know. I don't know what you're trying, trying to approve here, you know, what you're going to do in your life. But your life is, your life's going to crap because you're taking these stupid choices. What I'm really pissed off is my little cousin, you know, could be here, going to school, she could be fed, she got clean clothes, she have her friends, have her fun in the park. Her mom has taken off before too, a bunch of times. She's got family here that loves her too, she's probably got family that, that loves her there too. I don't know what's really going on. No texting, no calls, I don't know what the hell's going on. But... If it haven't happened yet, when you see this video log, it's a matter of time that somebody will take your kid away. Is is that not really in your head? You know, you lost other kids, you didn't get them back. Even if there's one or two kids that are, you know, old enough to come see you, they don't come see you because the way you choose your life. And if you lose your kid because of your stupid choices, you can only blame yourself. Can't blame a cousin. Can't blame your friend. Well, she's probably not your friend anymore. Can't blame these other people. Blame the booze, the drugs, and your choices of men and places where you take yourself and your daughter. Getting it all out there. I don't care if you're pissed off. I don't even care if your new man is pissed off. It's you yourself and did doing these choices. And to drag my little cousin around to your stupid choices is stupid. I can tell you that I would be a better parent than you. Hell, my cousin, even though he's a grump, would be a better parent than you. I know people are better parent than me that would be better parent than you. But, this is all I have to say in front of Ken. You will see this probably one day. You will see and watch this video. I hope you watch this video three times, four times, 
get in your head that it's been always about you, 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 you know. Poor me, poor this, poor that. Don't really give a crap about their bitch feelings and, you know, what they got to do with their money or what they're doing in their life. It's always, you know, what you want to do. Like, I know that you want a little, bit, a little bit of change in your life. You want to do different things in your life. But you don't care about the feelings and, uh, you know, everybody's choices and, you know, what they want in their life. It's just, you know, you've done whatever you're doing right now. And you, you probably don't care the feelings of my little cousin. You probably, you know, not, you know, assessing the needs of my little cousin. She's probably not totally safe or feels safe. She, maybe she's a little hungry. Maybe she needs clothes. She needs her friends. She needs her school, that's for sure. But, as I said, all you're doing is just thinking to yourself. You don't care. I think you're probably just, you know, using my little cousin, you know, oh, I'm going for the next uh, check and uh, day bonus day, and then, you know, not going to do the things that you're supposed to be doing for my little cousin. There's a lot of little things, you know, my little cousin could, should have, you know, as... as a grown child as, um, you know, a better life for her. And I'm not going to really even get into the other smaller details. I already know, uh, you know, I've got my little cousin, you know, I'm great with my little cousin, take her to park. You know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a uh, child minded, okay? I've heard that, saying that, oh, he has a mind of a child and uh, he doesn't really, you know, talk right, and, uh, you know, that's why he's good with Will, because he acts like a kid and stuff. I don't act like a dog. I don't act like you. I don't act like a druggie. I don't act like an alcoholic and, you know, a person who party doesn't care about the other tenants and stuff. Piss off everybody. <laughs> so I heard about that. Reason why, you know, I'm not, you know, I don't act like a kid and I don't act like a dog. I act like me. I don't want to act like most adults. I'm not, I don't do drinking, I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I don't smoke, I don't drink coffee. I don't annoy people, ask them for money. Think about myself, I've been thinking about other people. So, that's what I got to say on that. And my little cousin, you know, I hope she is fine. I hope that, you know, if she did get taken away, I hope she has a better life than being with you. That's all I got to say right now. If you guys do like this, like, if you guys do like this video, please hit the like button. Please, um, subscribe to me. Um, hope you guys like this video. One time, you guys watched it. Uh, make sure this video on your channel. My best video, my best me. Please do tell your friends and family about me. Hope you all have a nice day. No matter time you did this. And it's morning, every night. But until next time, I will see you.